you're welcome to the um, last part of the video so now I will be showing you how you can detail the roof truss all right so to do that basically you know in the last video I showed you how you can connect the steel column to the concrete stud I also show you how you can connect the guards to the column I as well showed you how you can connect two succeeding columns with the um, with the connection I also showed you how you can connect beam to column I showed you how you can connect two beams like this and then I also showed you how you can um, connect the beam or the column to the wrist I as well showed you how you can create a plate okay so today I'll be showing you how you can do um, the connection of the roof as well okay so let's um, get into it so I actually I've actually made a video of this before but the video got um, corrupted so that's why I'm making another video if you look at this you see some connections you can see that's because I've done the connection of all of this before okay but it actually got corrected so I'll be doing it again okay so let me just use this side instead of deleting those I'll just use um, this side to do the explanation okay so to redo the video okay so the first thing we need to do is we need to connect um we need to connect the trusses so let's connect this side you can see um this side is sitting properly to this side so that's good so you come here you pick this um this connection and then you select this and then you select this and you right click okay so you can have that connection you can see the connection is there already okay so you can do the same thing at the other at the other end um, let's see if this will do create this create this and then right click you can see I'm very sure it will not do no I was very sure from the beginning reason is that the orientation is not good enough you can see the orientation of this needs to be adjusted all this so control Q let's adjust the orientation okay so this can now be connected you can see this looks like something that can be both held together all right so select um, this then select this this right click okay so you can see the connection is over here right so let me interrupt that and see if you can zoom in properly okay so you can see the um let's zoom in properly to see that so you can see the connection all right so that's it um so let's move forward to do the rest okay so for this one this one you can see we have the bottom cord and we have the bracings that is the vertical bracing and this horizontal bracing so to do that you will come here you know i told you that these four are for bracing right so these two are for welding and these two are for both connections okay so i'll pick um this one so you select this select this select this and then you right click right so you have the both connection so the same thing you do here one two three right click okay so continue right two three four you definitely know what to choose first you have to choose the main bar that is the one which is a no we can use that here so this and this then I click okay this this and this then right click then the same thing here this this I click so if you want to use welding connection that is not difficult you can use welding connection still the same process one two three right click you can see there won't be boots you only have the gusset plate so everything will be wedded to the gusset plate okay so that's how to go about that so let me say i want to wet this side as well you only pick um this one then you say one two three okay so you have the gusset plate that will be wedded to it okay so i think all of the connections have, have been done okay so let me interrupt this so the next thing will now be okay you can see we have the top cord right so this is the top cord and we have the the pole line so we need to connect the pole line to the top cord so you come here and pick this so pick this and then you pick the top cord pick the pole line right click okay pick the top cord pick the pole line right click right and then pick the top cord pole line right click top cord pole line right click so you can do as many as possible but let me just let me stop after this okay so that is how you go about that okay um let me interrupt by right clicking 
another thing I want to show you is, you know, you can see that the top chord of all the elements are being connected with the help of the pole line, right? You can see top chord, top chord. Let me show selected alone. Um, show selected. So you can see this is the top chord, right? And this is another top chord. You can see that it is being connected with what? With pole line. So let's say maybe you also want to connect the bottom chord with the help of pole line. Let's say this one and this one. You want to connect it with a with a pole line. So how are you going to um, do that? Let me change the view of this by saying Ctrl Q. Ctrl Q. Ctrl Q. And then this popping up is just some unnecessary errors from printer structure. Our printer stream. So we have this. So you can see this is facing outside and this is also facing outside. Let me make this to face inside. Ctrl Q. Ctrl Q. Uh, going to Q. Okay, yeah. Okay, so that is good enough now to connect this and this with um, pole line. So you come here. This is pole line. You see, this is pole line. So you just create it and then you pick a point and then this point. Okay, so you can see that. Okay, at those two points, you have um, pole line. So you can right click to interrupt. So you can see that I've connected this. Um, bottom cord and this bottom cord with a pole line but if you look at the section you see that this is a channel okay but what we have is a angle so let's say you want to use this to angle you want to change this to angle so all you just need to do is double click on it and then here you click on this place and then you can go to angle you can see this is angle and then you have the L you have the UE which is on equal angle you have the EA which is equal angle so let me go to equal angle and pick the first one so let me see select and then apply okay okay so i have the angle you can see so we have the angle bar so that is exactly how you can connect how you can create pole line in protasteel so you can even come to protasteel to come and create your pole line but it is more easier for you to do that in proto structure all right so if that is the case then now i have to show all let me just i'm just trying to show you how you can create a pole line in proto structure as well okay so now we've done the connections of the truss all together we've done the connection between the pole line and the top cord okay so the next thing to do now is we have to create a sag rod that will connect all of the pole line okay so how do you do that there are three steps number one is you have to create the sag rod number two you have to create a hole for the sag rod and number three you have to create um, a connection at the end of the sag rod okay so let's do the first one which is what's creating the sag rod so to do that you come here so you create a sag rod so let me just pick this one and then let's say this one then you right click okay so there'll be a sag rod up from here to the last point that i click to as well you can just click the first and the last it will take you throughout okay but i don't want to go beyond this side okay let me just right click to interrupt Okay, so if you look closely you can see you have a sag rod you have a sag rod you have a sag rod you can see yeah that's good but there is one thing here at some end you can see here you have a angle bar that is not bad there are some sag rods that looks like this okay so but you may want to use all of them you can see this are even diagonal so you may want to make all of them to be um rod instead of um, angle so just double click on this double click and then you change it from angle so you change it to rod so this is l right the last one you did so you change it to tube so you go to round bar and then you click d d20 d20 select and then apply okay so you can see that has changed from angle to what to to a bar okay so you can do the same thing for this you can see this this one so the double click and then change it to d20 which is the last one select and then okay so you have this okay so now you have um, your sag rod but what i like doing is um instead of having your sag rod like this you can see it is flushing to the to the pole line instead of it to go outside look at this one it is coming outside that is very intelligent but what about this this is flushing to the pole line so 
it makes sense for it to come out so how are you going to do that double click on it you know let me try to zoom it backward let me zoom it to the last edge like this okay so now double click on it then let's take this one here so you come to the offsets offset so you have to know if this is start or this is end so let me assume this is the start point okay so let me say i want to extend this by 100 okay so click on apply see it goes inside is there a way to come outside it goes inside that means i will have to put minus here okay minus then apply you can see so it has come out by 100 okay so what about the end that is the other hand i will do that to be 100 you can check this side just keep your eyes on this side you click on apply you can see that it has come outside okay and if you want it to be 150 you know but 100 is enough okay even 50 is enough so uh, that is how you go about doing that so let's click on cancel so you can do the same for all of them you can just extend you don't need to extend this but you can extend this you can see you can extend this and then do more of all of them like that all right so we've created the sag rod the next thing to do is the sag rod is just there but there is no hole you know at least there should be a hole there is no hole you're only seeing the sag rod so i need to create holes for the sag rod as well so to do that you come here this will enable you to create hole look at this one so it's enable you to create hole for the sag rod so click on it and then click on the pole line that you want to create the hole on so click on it automatically to create the hole for you okay so this there is hole there already but you'll be able to see it because the the pole line i uh, was it called the sagrod has extended throughout the hole okay so you'll be able to see the hole again but let's see oh, for this one let's click this one you can see the hole right now this is because i did not extend this col um this sag let me extend this sagrod you see that the hole will disappear now let me double click and then extend this by minus 100 right and then this one by 100 then um click on apply you see that the hole will disappear simply because the rod has passed through the hole okay so that is exactly why you're not seeing the hole for this one okay and then here too maybe you'll not be able to see it because i did not create anything here okay so let me see for this one okay let's just stop it over there okay so we've done we've created the sag we've created hole for the sag now let me show you how you can connect the sag okay so this is um what you use to connect the sag this one so you click on it then you click on the pole line click on the sag and then you see the connection will jump in that way then do the same thing um here now let me see, you can do this and then this and then you know just keep doing it you can see the connection will be there to rotate perfectly you may click on f9 on your keyboard then you pick a particular point that particular point will be your axis of rotation but i can't click that right here because it is a, another function for what i'm recording if i should click on it it will terminate the record a record so i won't be able to do that on my own keyboard but you can do that on your own keyboard that will make the rotation and the panning everything to be more easy you know you just pick a particular point for yourself okay so that is how you do the connection what else do we have you know you have your girls here so for your girls you can also connect all of these girls with what with pole line okay uh, we, uh yeah with sagrod i mean so click on sagrod then click on this and then this then right click okay so you can have your sagrod for this so you can just do the same thing you know pole line and sagrod they are almost the same thing so if you can what you can do for this pole line you can do for the for the girls because they're almost the same thing so you can do for this and then this you know like that okay what i did is first last right click okay then i've told you how you can change this angle to bar um to run bar okay so this is basically how you go about doing everything in that steel as far as the uh, macros are concerned although actually they are still manual detailing i mean more when i talk about manual detailing that way you are not using any of this macro you'll be the one creating your boat you can come to the you know um, this boat group 
you create the boats group the number of boats and everything you have there so you start doing that of course that will take a lot of time you understand but at times when you have some you know some sophisticated building you will not the micro might not be even sufficient for you so you have to do your manual detailing at times so it's not always easy like this with um few clicks and everything okay thanks for watching if you like this video don't hesitate to subscribe thank you